So the blowing of the conch shell usually means the start of an event here in Hawaii, tonight the start of our luau and the emu ceremony. They blow the conch shell in several different directions. Areas of high importance to the Hawaiians, once towards the mountains, to the ocean, to the rising, and then to the setting sun. If you're in this valley area about 150, 200 years ago and you heard a conch shell being blown, then meant the royal family of Kauai was coming down the river or down one of the paths as Wailua was the area where the royal family of Kauai used to live in. So back here to the emu, emu spelled I-M-U, meaning cooking pit, emu. We are cooking a pig. Pig in Hawaiian, pua'a, P-U-A-A, pua'a. Uh, what we did early this morning, we laid firewood at the bottom of the pit. Firewood that we use is something called ironwood, also known as Australian pine. Easy to get on this side of the island. On top of the firewood, we'll go ahead and place some rocks. Now, not any kind of rock, but lava rock. And this is a sample of lava rock. Lava rock is porous, which means it has holes in it. And this is our cooking element for the pig itself. Now, if you try this at home, make sure you use a rock with holes in it because most rocks are solid. They'll burst like a bomb when it gets too hot. So you want to use a, a rock with holes, porous rocks. This is on the firewood. We'll light up the firewood, get these rocks nice and hot. It takes about an hour to do. And while that's going on, we'll go into the gardens and we'll chop a banana tree down because we're going to use it here in the emu as well too. The banana tree holds a lot of water. It'll create a seeming effect when you're cooking the pig. Let's see. What happens after that? <laughs> so, once these rocks are nice and hot, all the firewood is totally burnt down, so there's no fire going on in there. We'll chop the banana tree up, smash it up, place it on top of the hot rocks. We'll then place some banana leaves on top of that, and then some tea leaves. Tea leaves, not the drinking kind of tea, but the leaves you see the guys have around their necks here. T-I is the spelling of this plant. You'll find this throughout Polynesia. Here in Hawaii, the hula girls like to use them for their hula skirts. We also wrap foods with it and steam foods with it. If you have a fever, you place that leaf on the fevered area, it'll help draw some of the heat from the body as well, too. So many, many uses for the sea plant. And then finally, we get to the pig. And all the pigs that we use here at the Luau are right here on the island of Kauai at a local family pig farm. Uh, we like that because we're supporting another local family business. But also, they do all the yucky stuff. <laughs> yeah, they do that to the pig. And that way, the pig comes already clean when he, when he comes down to the, the garden here. So what we do is we lay the pig on his back in a pan similar to this, and it will spice him up. And the only spice we use is the Hawaiian rock salt. It's a thicker grain of salt that we sprinkle generous amounts in the cavities of the pig. We'll then go back into the pit, uh, actually, yep, pit, and then take some of the hot rocks and place it inside the pig. That way it's cooking from the inside out as well as from the outside in. The pig then goes on top of all the other leaves. We put more leaves over the pig, and then we put a top over it just to make sure none of the sand or the dirt gets in there. Nine hours later, here we are, ready to take them out. Okay, if you can't see too well, they're going to place the pig on this pedestal here. It'll be available for special photos <laughs> before we take them back to the kitchen. So nice slow cook. Rocks in there are still very hot. If we wanted to put another pig in there right now, we don't have to reheat the rocks. We just use those same rocks. It'll be uh, the pig. We put the pig in there tonight. It'll be ready by tomorrow morning. You also see a pot coming out of there. Eddie's going to grab some of the Hawaiian pot holders there. Let's take out this pot. In the pot, we have a dessert. It is a Hawaiian rice pudding. Yummy. Have you learned the word for delicious yet in Hawaiian? Yummy. Oh no, very good. Oh no, O-N-O. -O. That means delicious. So this rice pudding is oh no. Poi. Oh no. <laughs> but try them anyway, huh? You can cook pretty much anything in here. Sometimes we cook uh, some turkeys. Thanksgiving time, we'll throw a few turkeys in there as well, too. Here comes the piggy. The chefs love this way of cooking, because all they do is they pick up the bones, they shake the bones, and it falls right off the bones itself. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Hot, hot, hot. Sorry, one more. <laughs> Got them all. Good. How about a hand for the guys here? Thank you. Mahalo. <laughs> so at our luau, we like to ex ex actually explain how the pig is cooked and all that other stuff. So you'll learn a few more things about the Hawaiian culture later on as you go inside to the luau. Now, if you are interested in taking pictures of the pig in its current state, or if you want to take pictures with the guys over here, you may go ahead and do so. Otherwise, start heading across the bridge because drinks are now being served. Thank you.